Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Animated Playbook. I am the Maya Mike Coach. In this video, we're going to show you how we do our 7-on-7 seven -seven non-contact Ace X Drag. Okay, so first off, we are in our Ace Formation. All right. So our Ace Formation, we have two receivers, a tight end and a wing back, and we've got a single halfback. In this formation... Our receiver to the left is our X. He is off the ball. The tight end is our Y receiver. He is on the ball, on the line of scrimmage. Our wing back, basically lined up where the second tight end would be, is off the line of scrimmage. And our Z, which is our wide receiver to the right, he is on the line of scrimmage. And then, of course, we've got the half back near the quarterback, theoretically lined up behind where a tackle would be. We're going to scrunch these in, by the way. For, for my eight, and you, eight you guys, we're going to scrunch this in a little bit. We can't really spread the field that much. Anyways. So, X drag. X drag. By now, everybody should know when I call X drag, I am calling the receiver and I am calling the route. So, X. We got X over here. Drag. What's a drag? Well... And a drag, if you're on this side of the ball, you're going up, and you're coming over the middle to the left here. If you're on this side of the ball, you're coming up, and you're going over the middle to the right here. So drag, you're always dragging across the middle. So regardless if you line up to the left or the right, you're going to be coming over the middle. So X is going to come over the middle. Now, this one's going to be a little bit interesting because it's going to depend on... How much time you're going to have. Uh, all these, If any of these guys are rushing, they have to be seven yards back. So they have to be back where the safety is if they're rushing. So it all depends on how much time you have. If, you're, if these guys, if, if all these guys are basically near the line, no one's coming up to blitz, you're going to have a lot of time. If all of these guys are back here waiting to try to blitz some people, you may not have much time. So, it's going to happen in X drag. X is going to come up and drag over the middle. The tight end. Tight end is going to try to clear out the middle. The tight ends are going to run straight and try to get behind the safety and the linebacker. He's going to try to pull these safeties and the linebackers back with him because they're trying to open up a hole here for the X. For the X. Halfback. Halfback is going to come through and go off to the flats. Z, Z is going to be our normal corner, or yeah, a normal corner route. Remember, when you run a corner route, you're on this side of the ball, you're heading towards this corner, so you're not crossing the middle. If you're, going, if you're on this side of the ball, you're heading towards this corner, not crossing over the middle. If you're a wide receiver, you go in, faking a slant, and then go out to the corner. If you're on the tight end, the wing back, you're going straight for the corner. The wing back. The wing back's going to run a slant. A slant always goes over the middle. It's sort of like a drag, but the slant comes in at an angle. So the slant is sort of like a corner, only run over the middle. So you're going to be doing a slant. A drag, you're basically coming flat over this middle. So if I were to come up to the 10-yard line, which the X is not in this, in this case, the drag would run right across this line, the whole way across the field. Watch. See, uh, the, the wing back, on the other hand, running the slant, he is not going to do it. He's going to come up and he's going to slant basically for the opposite corner. So let's run this through. There's no motion in this. That's why I didn't call it. If you, if you hear X motion, wing back motion, if you hear something motion, that means that's who's going to motion, but this is just an ace X drag. So in this snap of the ball, like I said, there's going to be a drag. Now, once again, quarterback's got to assess how many people are behind a seven, seven line, uh, rushing line, I guess it's called. These are the guys who are able to come the minute the snap uh, is, is uh, minute the ball is snapped. If there's a lot of people, if you expect a whole bunch of people running at you, then this is going to be a quick drag, which is the reason why we're trying to clear, get the tight end out, and this ball. It's got to come out right now. 
and just throw it right down to the, to, to the X. Okay, it's one of those things, and we're going to talk about timing. Quick throws are boom, ba-boom, boom. That's it. Boom, ba-boom, boom. That's all you should remember. Quick throws. That's the timing. Boom, ba-boom, boom. That's rhythm. Boom is the catch of the ball. Boom, boom is going to be your two feet getting set, getting ready to throw. And boom is when you step and fire the ball. So boom, ba-boom, boom. Okay, boom, ba-boom, boom. Boom, ba-boom, boom. That's the rhythm. Catch. One little step drop back. Get your feet together. Boom. Throw the ball. Boom, ba-boom, boom. That's as quick as it's got to go. And that's if everybody's going to come at you. This is a quick throw. It's boom, ba-boom, boom. Now, in this play, nobody's coming. So, what do we do? Well, we let the... We let the, the, the entire play unfold because we're going to have we're, we're going to have our time in this the two most important people to look for is the X and the wing back those are the two most most important people to look for your key is really going to be the safety if this safety stays in the middle of the field and drops back a little bit, your best bet, and we'll talk about this in practice, when this wing back clears the mess, like you'll see this wing back running this way, and he's going to clear the mess. Right here, it's still a mess. I'm going to tell you right now, this is when you throw the ball. This is actually what makes you a good quarterback. The difference between a good quarterback and, a, and we'll just say an okay quarterback. This safety, if it's if it's single coverage, we'll talk about all this. You read this guy back here. If he stays in the middle of the field and sort of is eh, just reading everything, then what's going to wind up happening is this wing back is going to be open back here. So the minute he's in all this mess, just throw it to the opening right here, and this wing back will be here. Okay. If the safety comes up, there's a good chance you can get the tight end. What they're, the better chance, if the safety comes up, believe it or not, you either throw to the tight end or you let this X start to clear. Because what's going to happen is the safety is going to see this guy, this guy. He's going to be frozen, not knowing what to do. By this time, the X will have a good head of steam and it'll be a quick, easy throw right over the middle. And that's why it's called an X drag because we're trying, we're really trying to get a good little throw here. Either right here with a quick throw if, if people are blitzing, boom, ba boom, boom. That, like I said, that's the rhythm you want to get into. Boom, ba boom, boom. That's the quick throw. If not, let let it transpire. Watch the safety. The safety's gonna tell you if the safety starts cheating. Starts coming over here to the left because he sees the tight end, the wing back. Then it's going to leave a wide open hole for that for the X guy to go. You will always have half back in the flats, Z corner. Sometimes these guys get, sometimes people just completely mistake them. But your your key is going to be the safety and single high. If there are two safeties back here, real quickly, if there are two safeties back here. It's the axe. You're, you're thrown to nobody but the X. Just let the X clear the mess and then pop it to him right here. But otherwise, in the single, in the single safety high, the one we're, we're, we're really trying to get open would be this wing back. Tight end, maybe. So if this safety sort of stays in the middle of the field, I'm telling you, this wing back is going to be wide open. You, th you throw it while he's sort of in this little mess, and he'll come free. So we'll, show this thing, we'll show this thing again. X drag coming on over the middle, tight end, going deep, trying to occupy the safety in all this mess, trying to get a little, these guys a little deeper. Half back coming into the flats, wing back is running a slant to the opposite corner. 
and the Z bat and the Z receiver is going to do our little corner, which is a fake slant in in. I don't have him throwing the ball because you never know. Just going through the read. Remember, quick, ba boom, boom, if if necessary, if that's what we got to do. And then hold on to it. Wait for the wing back to clear the mess. Or wait for the wing back to be just ready to clear the mess. And then throw him, throw him up. Basically what it's called. It's called throwing him open. He'll be in the mess, but he'll be the only one who knows he's going for this spot. And this spot's going to be wide open. And the quarterback knows this spot's going to be wide open. And you chuck it and you throw the ball and you throw him open. And that's for single high safety. Alright, so that is how we like to run our seven on seven. Ace X drag. Uh, 